In this video, we're going to look at naming branched alkynes that have a straight chain alkyne parent chain. So we're going to walk through the steps using this example shown. So in this example, we have a straight chain alkyne. We see the triple bond, and we have a branch off of that alkyne. One thing to note here is the linear shape around the triple bond. Because there are only two electron domains on each carbon, uh, the carbons will have a linear shape. And so there is a carbon here and another carbon here. It's a little confusing to look at, so sometimes adding little dots will help you with the naming. So our first step here is gonna be to identify our parent chain. So I'm gonna highlight our parent chain in yellow, it must contain our triple bond. So we see our parent chain there, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So our parent chain is going to be hex, and then some number to identify where the triple bond is, ine. So the prefix yne means triple bond. Our next step is going to be to identify any branches. So we have one branch on this molecule here, highlighted in blue, and that branch is a methyl. Our next step is going to be to number our chain, giving priority to the triple bond. So if we start at the left side of our chain, we hit our triple bond on carbon one, two, three, four. If we start on the right side of our chain, we hit our triple bond on carbon two. So what that means is that we're gonna number from right to left. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And our last step is to put it all together, listing our substituents alphabetically. So I'm gonna go through again our four steps here. So we have them all on one page. So we first identify our parent chain. And in this case, our parent chain was hex, Next up, we identify any branches, and here we had a methyl. Uh, next up, we're going to number our chain, and we said we were going to go from right to left, so that our hexine was going to be the number two, and our methyl is number five. And then putting it together, listing our substituents alphabetically. So we only have the one substituent, so no need to worry about the alphabet. We have 5-methyl-hex-2-ine. We're going to walk through another example now. Uh, so again, we're going to repeat our four steps. So step one is to find the parent chain. And our parent chain must contain our double bond. So I'm going to highlight in yellow our parent chain. And that parent chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, seven, eight carbons long. So it's going to be oct, and then some identifying number, ine. Next up, we're gonna identify any branches. So we have two branches. On the left side of the molecule, we have an ethyl, and on the right side of the molecule, we have a methyl. Next up, we're gonna number our chain. If we start on the left side of our molecule, again, giving preference to that triple bond, we're gonna hit our triple bond at carbon one, two, three, four. If we start at the right side of our molecule, we hit the triple bond on carbon one, two, three, four. So in terms of numbering, the carbon is on, carbon number four has the triple bond um, in either direction. Since it's a tie, we're going to use our functional groups to break the tie. So uh, just like we did with alkanes, uh, the 
direction we number is the first functional group we hit. So if we go from the left to the right, one, two, three, our first branch is on carbon three. If we go from the right to the left, one, two, our first branch is on carbon two. So we're gonna number this molecule from right to left. And then lastly, we'll put it all together, listing our substituents in alphabetical order. So ethyl is first, so six ethyl, two methyl, oct, four ion.